Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're reviewing a new fragrance by the House of Michael Kors. It is a very beachy, summery, adventure-going perfume named Wonderlust. So we're getting into it, okay guys? Mwah. I don't know guys, I'm really impressed with this box. This box is really beautiful. It kind of just has like this very luxurious feel to it. And if you guys know Michael Kors, he kind of has this thing about luxurious metals. Um, he Especially with rose gold. Um, if you guys can see, it just starts off with this very rose gold base and then gradients into this very sorbet, kind of a pink at the top. Has Michael Kors right there, engraved, and just kind of Michael Kors Wonderlust right there. It's very beautiful, very pretty box, very Michael Kors, again. And yeah, it just kind of has like this very sunset kind of a feel to it, and I, and I dig it. I really dig it. The bottle is very beautiful. It's very Michael Kors, kind of has like this rose gold cap, and it just kind of has like this sorbet pink at the bottom again. Now let me get it a little bit closer. As you guys can see, yeah, it is just very Michael Kors, very chic. Just has like a very beautiful kind of gradient going through it. I really like the cap and the bottle and everything about it. It just comes off like that, and you just spray just like that. It's a very beautiful, chic, very Michael Kors kind of a bottle. So this perfume contains notes of bergamot, pink pepper, almond milk, dianthus, heliotrope, benzoin, sandalwood, and cashmere. All right guys, and as usual, I have three of the strongest notes to fit in the perfume. I have the heliotrope, the sandalwood, and the almond milk. So we're getting into the weakest of the three, okay? All right guys, and the first note up is sandalwood. And if you guys know sandalwood, it is this wood that derives from Southeast Asia. It kind of lends like this very creamy, dreamy effect to things. Um, yeah, it just kind of gives it this very like smooth entrance within the perfume. I really like it. It just gives it really good transitions. Um, if you guys ever get the pleasure of smelling sandalwood, please do. It is this very creamy, beautiful kind of a perfume note. Um, it's one of my boyfriend's actually favorite notes of in a fragrance. Um, if you guys ever smell like Santal Carmen or anything like that, it's just like a very beautiful kind of note inside of it. Um, this note is very similar to other perfume notes of Sandal, which I'll discuss later. But yeah, it just kind of gives it like this very wooded, um, but creamy effect to the fragrance. And I really enjoy that. Alright guys, the next note up is the heliotrope, and yeah, um, my mom works in a lot of gardens, so I get a lot of access to a lot of flowers like this. But yeah, um, when I initially smelled this perfume, I was like, what is that note that smells like vanilla, even though this perfume contains no vanilla at all? And it's actually heliotrope. Heliotrope is, has this kind of chemical composition where, in which it kind of gives off this very cherry vanilla pie kind of a smell to it. If you guys ever get to smell this flower, it kind of has like that very tone to it, very like Jergens, cherry, vanilla kind of lotion. And yeah, it gives it like a very powdery, very smooth, very vanilla kind of a smell to it. Um, very pretty, a very pretty purple flower as you can see as well. And yeah, it just kind of gives it like this floral edge to the fragrance. And it's, yeah, it's a very sunny, bright kind of a perfume, but this just kind of adds like a smooth creaminess to it again. And a very vanilla tone, a floral vanilla tone to it. And I like it. Mm. Alright guys, the last note up we have is the almond milk. This is one of the first perfumes that I've ever seen utilize almond milk before. Um, yeah, this just kind of gives it, again, this very creamy, kind of milky, lactate kind of a tone to it. And yeah, um, Michael Kors kind of wanted to use it only because like almond milk kind of gives off like, this very creamy kind of a vibe to fragrances and whatnot. To quote, Michael Kors really wanted something that was edible, gourmand, but not sticky or sweet. So this is why he chose almond milk. And yeah, almond milk just kind of has like this very smooth, milky, again, kind of a tone to it. Um, it just kind of has like a very smooth binding with all the fragrance like once it's added to the perfume It just kind of like melds them all together and just kind of gives it like this very creamy Very relaxing kind of a vibe and I really enjoy that about it I don't know something about milk notes milky notes are just very relaxing and very soothing And this is kind of like the tone that it takes within this fragrance, but it just kind of gives it like this very like Wonderful kind of a note to it if that makes sense, but yeah, I really enjoy this note It's very interesting that they used almond milk and I, I applaud them for that in terms of sillage, this perfume is moderate. It just kind of projects a little bit further than aura like. In terms of longevity, um, it'll last you probably 10 hours at the most. Yeah, so it's not a bad perfume in lasting power, and it's not a bad perfume in projection either. Um, I would say it's just a good medium standard. I like that. Uh, times I would wear this? Um, afternoon, like late night vibes, evening vibes. Yeah, somewhere you're going to go, like nice or whatever. Um, place I would wear it? Somewhere very cozy, like a beach house when you're wearing a cashmere sweater and you're just when you're wearing a cashmere sweater. Yeah, in a beach house probably, but yeah, that's like a Michael Kors ideal. But yeah, I would say just somewhere like when you're going to the beach and you wanna be comfortable and you're just laying on a couch and you're being warm and cozy with someone, it just kind of like this very cozy kind of tone to it. Um, whether it is a masculine or feminine fragrance, I would say it's a feminine fragrance, definitely. Um, it just kind of has like a womanly edge to it. Um, but again, it is a very comforting scent. It's very creamy, dreamy, and very comfy, and I like that. 
So the advertisement stars Lily Aldridge and male model Walter Peelin. And yeah, it just kind of shows them on a yacht. Um, they're kind of partying to How Deep Is Your Love by Calvin Harris. That song is amazing. I love EDM music. And yeah, they're just kind of like, she's just kind of wandering, like having a dream of wanting to go somewhere far and distant with this one man. So they get on a yacht, they travel to this island and they're having a great time. And that is the point of Wanderlust is to wander um, and have dreams about going somewhere exotic, new, fresh, somewhere that you've always wanted to be. And that's a very beautiful ad, and I really enjoy that about Michael Kors. I really love the concept and how Michael Kors approached this, and how like his like most of his shoppers and his buyers, um, most of the girls that buy his stuff normally gravitate towards rose gold colors, and I just kind of like that he made an ode to that. Not only that, just like this whole adventure of like wanderlust, and yeah, just kind of how he did his ultimate. Because normally it's wanderlust, the like, and that's a lust to wander and like travel. But wanderlust is like it's a lusting to dream and to go places and to like think about something that you really want to go and just do it. And I think that's a great concept within the fragrance, and I just love that he went for it and whatnot. And it's a beautiful bottle, and yeah, I really enjoy it. It's just pretty and creamy and dreamy, and I said that before, but I like it. So you know what? Whatever. In terms of what it smells like, though, it has a very big similarity to, um, I, at least in its vanilla note and its vanilla stages and sandalwood kind of stages, it has a very big similarity to Dior Addict, which is one of my mom's favorite perfumes. And in terms of other similarities, it kind of has like this very big similar tone to the Manifesto by YSL. And that's probably closest to this fragrance. When I sprayed it, I was like, oh, it's, and it's like the heliotrope note kind of just kind of makes it all kind of smell the same. But this one kind of has its own difference because of the almond milk within it. And I really enjoy that. All right, guys, send the video. If you guys are looking for something dreamy and creamy and it takes you away to a faraway place and lands, then get into Michael Kors Wonderless. It is a very beautiful rose gold perfume and I really enjoy it, guys. All right, guys, stay fresh, stay clean, smell good. I literally said EDM music, like electronic music music.